First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Down here at the Sussex Mini Regional, check out team number 7103 Robo Remedy. I'm here with James, Honey, and Jerry and this cool machine here on Behind the Bumpers. We're gonna talk about the third year team, a very neat indexer. I see some of these two inch vectored intake wheels, by the way, uh, a neat indexing system, as we mentioned. Using Limelight for the first time, be interesting here on team with that, Swerve Drive and more. Uh, so we're gonna start out here. You guys uh, have done Vision before, but this is your first year doing the Limelight. So tell me a little about your experience with that and how that's been going for you. Uh, yeah, so this, the past years we've been working on just doing vision processing with just a normal camera. Uh, this year we tried to use the limelight and it's been working a lot better. Uh, and we're gonna be using, most of our robots gonna be based on vi uh, the limelight and using the vision targets. And hopefully if everything goes well and without defense, we, we hope to just go up and down the field autonomously scoring points during tele -op. So you mentioned autonomously you want to do it, so really you just want to get those cycles down really fast and kind of keep going, right? Awesome here. Uh, on the spot here, let's kind of just kind of start moving through some of these subsystems here. What do you want to tell us about on this cool machine? Thank you. So I would like to talk about the intake system. Since our team has thought through this the whole week, the beginning of the season, we had to think about how we're going to do this. So we tried to go for the simplest design that we could ever got get. And that the design was intake and then shoot it right through whatever we got into. So if we, as you can see, this is the mouse. And if you start intaking, the mechanism is going to turn and the ball's going to head inside. And so if it goes in, it like indexes by having a color sensor inside on the middle. It reads how many bowls we have, and then whenever we have five bowls, it stops intaking and then shoots out. So as you can see, let's try intaking a little bit. Intake. As you can see, we still have a glitch a little bit, but bottom wheels, bottom wheels are working. But so that intake goes in, and then we have five balls all the way up down to here, and it shoots out after angling. Angle, please. And then we can shoot anywhere we want to shoot. So you said anywhere you want to shoot. So how far are you actually planning on shooting this year? So we actually tried um, from the other side of trans zone before we get into it, and then we made a three points. Very, very cool. Um, something I want to ask as well, too, uh, before we get to the drive, is your uh, polycord belting, your indexing. How have you uh, prevented uh, the power cells from jamming inside of your robot? Oh, about that. Yeah, so that was really the biggest consideration that we had when designing this, was how can we make sure that there's absolutely nowhere in the system that these balls can get jammed? So we spent probably the first two weeks uh, prototyping and figuring out what level of compression do we need to have on these shooter wheels, on this belting? And we found that since we've got sort of the infinity loop in the back, like we saw in Robot in Three Days, um, driving these uh, polycord belts, you know, at the same speed but opposite to each other, that keeps the balls from touching each other. It keeps them from touching the walls. Once we get in here, it can go back and forward smoothly, and we don't have any issues with jamming. Really, the only spot where we've ever seen that in this system is right up here. If, when we were still prototyping this, I'd like to get caught up in here. But now we're ironing that out too. What, what is this device right here, by the way? Yeah, that's just the backstop for our intake. So when we flip down our uh, in vectored intake wheels, we can actually pull it. If, because obviously most teams would use that with the bumper, but we're too far forward for that. Uh, one other thing I want to ask you before we talk about drive two is the vectored intake wheels on here. So we've seen these be very popular this year, the two inch vectored intake wheels. Uh, Why did you decide to go this and what success have you seen from using them? Yeah. The biggest success that we get from that is the ability to automatically center our balls uh, as, as the power cells are coming in. So really, rather than just having to get dead on in the center here, we can get it you know, out to the very edge of here. So that's and lastly, wrapping up on this machine, uh, I know you guys uh, are talking about Swerve Drive. You're very proud about that. And we do see quite a t few teams doing that, but I'd love to hear you. First off, it looks like you might be having a couple different motors on your Swerve Drive. So I want to hear about that and maybe some of the successes and maybe some of the challenges with this as well. Right. So we've been looking at Swerve Drive for a long time. We started to develop our own, but 
as the season grew closer and closer, we knew that our mechanical team and our budget wouldn't be able to catch up with what our software team had already done. So if you're familiar with the Mark II module from Swerve Dive Specialties, this is a modified version of that. So we've got a, a Falcon as the drive motor and Neo as the turning motor. We've actually modified it so we've got a, the CTRE hex encoder housing on the back as opposed to what's on the stock Swerve Drive Specialties module. That actually allows us to reduce the part count significantly by just having one shaft and gear part that goes down rather than a complicated assembly. Uh, the shaft isn't shown in this particular module, but in most of its aspects it is a fairly stock uh, SDS Mark II module. Robo Remedy 7103, really cool machine. I love the simplicity, but also how powerful this machine can be as well, too. So good luck during here in Infinite Recharge. Can't wait to check out this team during your events. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.